In this video, I'm going to show you a quick, simple, and cheap way to make a trap for the flying, stinging insects that usually come out during the spring. Things like wasp, hornets, bees, and things like that. So, these are this is everything you're going to need here. So, you're going to need an empty water bottle, soda bottle, anything like that that has this type of uh, top on it. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some rope or twine, kite string, anything like that will work. You're going to need some tape. I'm going to use electrical tape here. Uh, you could also punch holes in it. Uh, we'll get to that later. And you're going to need some sugar. This is about uh, three tablespoons of sugar. So let me go ahead and move these things out of the way. We're going to start off with the scissors and the bottle. So we're going to go ahead and take the top off the bottle. And on this one, it actually has lines on it. It doesn't really matter. You want to come down uh, just a little ways, uh, basically right below this little slope here. You want to come down a little bit further than that little slope to where the bottle starts to become straight. And we're just going to go ahead and cut the bottle. All right, so now that the bottle's cut, what we do is, see it fits just like that, in there. All right, so you see it fits like that. So I'm going to take that off, and what we're going to do here with the twine and the tape is I want to be able to hang this on something. Now, if you don't plan on hanging it on anything, like if you just want to put it on a picnic table or something like that, uh, you're pretty much done with, with this part. And, uh, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put the twine because I want to go ahead and hang this. So just unravel the twine, the string, rope, whatever you have. Make sure it's long enough to have a little loop. So here it's probably just over a foot long of twine or string rope. <laughs> I'm gonna take my electrical tape here. And just put it on the side. And here's where you could also use something like a hole punch. You just punch holes in the side of it and run your rope through there. Tie little knots or whatever. But I'm just going to tape it with this electrical tape here. So you can see, ran the tape all the way around it, just holding it up. Next thing you would do is go ahead and dump the, the sugar in there. Now you don't actually have to use sugar. You can use uh, anything that's sweet. These critters like to have sweet stuff. That's what they're attracted to. So you can use honey, sugar, uh, like I said, anything that's sweet. And you would just add water to this, uh, probably fill it about a third to halfway, put this top on. And what happens is they fly and they can go into this hole here. And they get down in there and then they can't find their way back out. And they don't bother you. <laughs> So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and tape this lid on as well. Uh, or you could just leave it as it is. Now as you can see, I've actually put the water in here uh, with the sugar and just kind of stirred it up. What I wanted to show you is if you're having problems uh, actually getting this, this top part 
to stay in or if there's any gaps around here. Cut little slits in the top. I just cut those down with the scissors. And then you can kind of squeeze it in there a little bit better. And what I've done is I've put a rubber band all the way around it. And that holds that in there tight. And then I, uh, just because it gets kind of windy, I also put just a little, a little, f a little flap of, uh, I don't know if you can see it because it's, but there's a little flap of electrical tape right there that kind of holds the, uh, top in there. And then you can just hang it on whatever you want to hang it on. Or like I said, you can just set it on a table or anywhere that you're having a problem with these pests. So... So you can make a very inexpensive uh, wasp or other flying insect trap.